We're going to be uh, talking about this young man, Robert Dobbs. Robert Dobbs, a U.S. veteran. Unfortunately, this dude is stuck in Dubai. So wait, 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 wait. We got somebody else stuck in Dubai. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. We got somebody else that is stuck in Dubai. Uh, uh oh. So, as we all knew, uh, what happened to the uh, truck driver, the sassy trucker? She's back. She just got back in early August. Uh, she been detained in Dubai uh, via via her passport being ripped from her because of reasons that we still have a misunderstanding to this day. So <laughs> I'll, I'll just leave it at that. I'll, I'll leave it at that. If you guys want to know reasons, she do have a video up on her page which is up to about seven thousand views already so if you guys want to know her version of the story definitely go over there and check it out but this young man or older man he's been stuck in dubai for five years bro whoa how long five years He's been detained. Five years? He's been detained in Dubai, and in, and he is in desperate need of a return to his home, which is in Wisconsin. So Maybe he should call the sassy trucker and ask her how she did that. Yeah. But, hey, hold on, hold on. We're we going to get to that very shortly because it seems as though... This U.S. veteran went kind of went the same route that the sassy trucker went, but with her success, as we can see, but it's a little bit on the failure side over here for him, a U.S. veteran of the Army, served his time, gave his time, and it seems as though that nobody on this side of the world is working overtime to get him home. Ah, uh, hold on. So you said a U.S. veteran that's stuck in Dubai for five years and even just attempt to go the same route as the sassy trucker and he's still over there and she was only over there for like three, four months? Yep. Three, four months. Whoa. Uh, shit, what's really going on? Well, let's let's find out, shall we? An American veteran detained in the UAE for more than five years on what he calls bogus charges. He says he's losing all hope that he will ever return to his family. Local authorities are preventing Robert Dobbs, 55, from either leaving the UAE or securing a new work visa. He told Insider that he felt like a groundhog. Y'all remember Groundhog Day? Reliving the same day every day, over and over again. Morning. Uh, see the groundhog? Yeah. I think it'll be an early spring. Didn't we do this yesterday? I don't know what you mean. No. Ah! Don't mess with me, pork chop. That's that's what that's he's harsh. going. That's that's what he's going through right now over in Dubai. Right now, by the way, this is right now. So as we speak, he still is over there. Now, of <clears throat> course, his situation, which we're going to touch on, has similarities to the sassy trucker, but we we gonna we we gonna get more in that in a second. It continues. It says, people want to forget about it, Dobbs said, who served eight whole years in the U.S. Army. 
He says, you can't shug me off. I'm a human being being trapped over here in the Emirates. Mm. Dobbs plight stems from a disagreement. Remember disagreement? Mm. Disagreement uh, uh, over on. money. Over money. Mm. Wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, 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 same, that's the same plot, ain't it? It's same plot. Plot thickens. Like, we'll give you back your stuff, but you need to pay us five thousand dollars. Over money with a former employee. Now this one is kind of kind of took a turn okay, to the a left. Different. It was uh, yeah, yeah, you know, different. with an employee, which led to a legal case. He says was uh, he says that was unfounded. He says he's now living in fear of local authorities who has had an outstanding warrant out for his arrest for three years. Whoa. This is in the Emirates. So he has not only that he had a dispute with his former employee, but now he got issues uh, with a warrant. And we're going to find out why in a minute that he has a warrant. He says he's not able to leave the country or work legally. Dobbs, a father of five children in the blended family, has relied on his loved ones and family and working odd jobs up under the table to sustain himself. Dobbs has been lobbying for his release through detained in Dubai, does that ring a bell? Yes, it does. Does that ring a bell? Yes, detained in Dubai, the same organization that went above and beyond to get the sassy trucker back home. An organization that helps foreign travelers who have issues with law enforcement or court systems in the UAE. Some of these travelers have been victim of well-known scams in the country. If that's the case, why do y'all keep going over there? Why why y'all keep going over there? So this is well known and documented and it's to the point that they actually had to create an organization and people still going over there? People still going over there. A Houston woman, aka the sassy trucker was detained in Dubai, for instance, in April after a car rental employee claimed, yes, claimed, that she said, well, you're under arrest. I was like, what did I do? I said, what? For what? They said, for shouting, for shouting. I said, what? They said, Violated a broadly defined law against offensive behavior in the UAE as she tried to resolve her claim. Her accusers demanded thousands of dollars to drop the case. To our understanding and per her video, the case was dropped from the rental car. Right. But she had to pay to get her passport back. I'm curious to why she had to pay just to get her passport back. I mean, if your passport is being detained, should your passport be, you know, given back to you if the case was dropped with no money filed? Yeah, you would think that it would be given back. I mean, I would what reason yeah. do they have to keep it and charge you for it? Yeah, reasons, exactly. So on that stand, we still don't know the reasons because 
the story time that she gave in her video still leaves a lot of questions <laughs> unanswered. I'm yeah, just, I'm I watched just, that video, man. I was I was left with a few questions unanswered also. I'm just saying, uh, you know, no, hey, sassy, <laughs> no shot to you, sassy. I'm just saying, it's, there's a little bit more that you're leaving out there, but hey, if you want, <laughs> if you want to go with that narrative, I'm all for it. <laughs> I, you got my support over here. I'm just saying. So it continues. It says she was eventually allowed to fly home in early August after paying more than a thousand dollars to local police to lift her travel ban against. Now, going back to her video, she did mention in the video that it was still some case, I guess, because when she got to the airport, she was almost uh, detained, detained again. Detained again, yeah. Detained again, but they gave her a choice to either pay whatever the amount that whatever it was for, because we all thought that the case was dropped or be detained in Dubai, pay or go to prison for two years or be banned from the country entirely. Guess what she did? Right. She took the ladder, bro. <laughs> I don't blame her for that. It's just, it's banned. <laughs> I'm yeah. serious. It's banned you don't me. have to worry about me coming back to motherfucking Dubai. And then TSA security told me that I have ten thousand dollars in overstay fines. They said either I pay the fine or go to prison or take the travel ban. I said, well, you can ban me right now because I have no desire to come back to this country. I do not want to come back to Dubai. Please ban me from the country. I'm good. I have my time Man, here. Once once the wheels is up, man. Once the wheels is up in the air, I'm gone, y'all. <laughs> Whatever y'all got, y'all over here talking about. Yeah, we need you to come back to the country on uh, on May third. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Good luck with that one. <laughs> yeah, good good luck with me coming back to the country to go to court. I'm good. <laughs> unless y'all gonna have, unless y'all gonna have the Dubai police come clear across America. That's the only way I'm coming back to the end you. And you still might have a problem with that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> I feel you on that one. <laughs> the dispute at the center of Dobbs case revolves around his former employer, a private school. I can't pronounce the name, so I'm going to skip over that. In a city about 20 miles outside of Dubai. Dobbs worked there for four years, and it's where his four of his five children attended school. Okay, okay, cool. So you work for a school. You probably worked out a deal. You probably said, yo, I got four kids. If I want to be here for a couple of years, you know, let's, uh, I, you know, let's, right. you know, let's scratch the tuition. I get paid. My kids get a good education. Yada, yada, yada. Let's continue. Let's see where that leads them, though. Uh, Dobbs said the school withheld his end of the year service benefit, a bonus in the UAE for employees who complete a term of employment after his contract ended. He also said the school refused to release him from his work visa. I hope you enjoy the festivities. There's talk of a blizzard. Do you ever have deja vu, Mrs. Lancaster? Now, what did that, now, now, what did that actually mean? Right, right, right. I mean, what do that mean? Like, I mean, if you don't I mean, really if need, you don't. If you don't have a work visa, you gotta you you can't work there, and you gotta leave the country. So, what do you mean that they refuse to release him from the work visa? I don't know what that means. 
That that's what it says. I, I would think if you don't have a work visa no more, they would they would kick your ass out of the out of the country just just yeah. on that strength, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's 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 continue. It gets deeper. This rabbit hole just keeps going and going like the Energizer Bunny blow. <laughs> oh, man. In 2018, Dobbs took the school to court. Okay, all right. You know they didn't pay you. You know that. What, what you gonna do? You you gonna take them to court, right? Which all right. the court ruled in his favor. All right. Yeah. We, all right. We, we, we okay. Beat it. All right. We beat it. Okay. Forcing the school to pay him his benefit according to the court document but the school said hold up wait a minute something ain't right we got something for your ass bruh you forgot let me tell you what you forgot bruh the school quickly responded by filing a civil suit against Dobbs that claims that he owes for what tuition for his children that attended the school now mind you <laughs> this no, is didn't. this is four <laughs> years okay four years of four, tuition. <laughs> four years of tuition that came up to drum roll please a hundred K and that's a hundred K in Dubai money. <laughs> oh, hey, don't tell me how much is that in American money, bro. Man. <laughs> probably man. less, probably less than that. But yeah, Dubai money. They want a hundred K, my guy, for four years of tuition. And this is according Man. and this is according to the Tain in Dubai. So let's wait okay. a minute, wait a minute, so, hold on, hold on. Let me ask a question. Yes, yes, sir. So he went to he went to court and he won. He won. So did yes. he get did he get released from his work visa when he won? No. They still got it. I I would have oh, I think snap. I think he went it, it, it says that he went to court to get his benefits it does not say anything oh, about oh, the visa okay, okay. so he won okay. his benefits they paid him his benefit i, I i'm assuming since he's been there for a while so they was able to pay the benefits but as soon as they gave him that money that's when they went and filed a uh a, 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 a civil suit against him for the tuition they said bro you coming at us for some money we want our money, my guy. Hey, hey, do you, is do more, you not know who we are? <laughs> it is more than what is more than what you got, bro. <laughs> ah, that's yeah, dirty. my guy. <laughs> yeah, we playing dirty now. Now with that case, uh, of course, you know, Dobbs don't have the money. And unfortunately, being that it's a case that is still open and it's still a suit, it's unfortunate that he won't be able to leave because of that. Now we got to the thick of it, of why he wasn't able to leave. Now, okay. here's, now you know, the, the parallels, of course, is different from Sassy's situation. The situation money was involved and they said they try to extort more money out of her than what it was supposed to be there but here's the thing if you still owe some money you were still able to leave though here right. here's a case that he owes money but he's not able to leave and he's an army vet right so let's continue. Let's see what's up. 
Though he claims that it was unfounded, which I I, I hate to say this, bro. They 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 got petty. They got mad at you. <laughs> they got, yeah, they, yeah, they got, did. <laughs> they got mad at you for what you did, so they got petty and 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 uh, came back and and they won. So Dobbs miss. Oh oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Let's wait a minute. Wait a minute. Dobbs missed the opportunity to make that argument. Why? Because when the hearing took place, it was just at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, which shut the world down, which means that Dobbs was not able to get any type of information on the fact that he had a civil suit with the school. Which means they entered a default judgment against him for failure to appear. Yes, yes, so unfortunate. Oh, man. So unfortunate. So, so many loopholes that this country is is doing to these people, man. man. Woo. So, Dobbs was never man. he was never informed of the court date. And while he since tried to appeal to the local officials, the case remains closed. Mm. Okay, so what about the, um, she mentioned the U.S. Embassy in her video uh, and the, oh, what, uh, oh, US the Embassy? consulate or something. U.S. Yeah. Embassy? Oh, well, let's, yeah. let's talk about the U.S. Embassy. We about to get there in a minute. talking about... No, no. Cause he's talking about five years. So. Yeah, we we talking five years detained in Dubai versus a young lady that was only detained in Dubai for three months that had help from quote unquote the U.S. Embassy detained in Dubai and State Senator Grandma. As I don't know her name, but I'm yeah, just gonna, I don't even remember her name. I, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna call her Grandma. You know, Grandma. That's that. Plus, you know, of course, we have... Uh, Did you sleep well, Mr. Connors? Did I sleep well? Would you like some coffee? Uh, Al Sharpton 2.0, so... <laughs> but you would think... Oh, okay. But you would think this is an army veteran that he would have yeah. a little bit more push than what she had. Yeah. Right? Yeah, man. Exactly. Okay, okay. so the insider reached out clear across America to get a comment from the school and the school said brother man still owe us the tuition money we ain't playing well, I, I don't know how he gonna get it I don't know where he gonna get it I don't care how he get it he still owes us and we're not we're, we're, we ain't budging we not budging like bro like, but he can't even he even if he owe it legally he can't even make the money to give it to him because they still got his work it, visa right they got his work visa mm. oh he can't do anything he, Man. Can't, he can't do nothing dude is stuck broken busted and disgusted over in dubai bro. man he's super stuck like chuck man jeez man so he says, I've been stuck in this open air prison for five and a half years, three and a half years away from my family who hails from Wisconsin. He also says that I am a veteran with PTSD as well. And he says, yo, I'm at, I'm at the end of my life right here. I don't know what's next. Uh, we, uh, if, if I don't get no help, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, Joe, Joe, where you at, Joe? But I'm asking, I'm, I'm asking for Joe. Where, where you at, Joe? Well, uh, yeah, Uncle Joe, where, this is Joe? definitely one of yours, yeah, man. This, this yeah, is I mean, one of your, right? Ex-military. This, this is ex-military, army veteran. Where, where you at, Joe? I mean, you went out of the way for a basketball player. Come on, come yeah. on, Joe. Oh, and this is yeah. A, this, this is a this this is a army veteran. I mean, come on now, like don't 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 that army veteran rank a little bit higher than that yeah. basketball player dude yeah. in your eyes? Yeah, it should trump that, right? Because dude been hemmed up for five 
years. Man, yeah. So I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it continues. <sighs> it, 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 it gets deep, bro. It, 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 it gets deeper, man. It's, um, it gets deeper. The young lady, Sterling, a UK-based legal advocate and CEO of Detained in Dubai. Hell, you would think that she would be in Dubai with, with, with that name, but she's from UK. We need a backstory on her. But anyway, uh, it, continue, yeah. it continues. It says, Dobbs has been jailed dozens of times and even beaten up by the local law enforcement. She said his situation was growing increasingly dire. Now, in the video, let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's flash back into Sassy's video. She claimed she was asked to get, uh, to get naked, bro. Like, what are they saying to you? Like, what are, did one of the female guards walk over to me? She told me, she said, she got the necklace, take off the clothes, start getting undressed. You're about to get five years. <laughs> so, like, when she went to, yeah, when, when she did. went to jail, when she went to jail, like, this is jail. Like, they... This is this is jail, like going into jail. Like you're not going to prison. Like I, I I've seen prison movies where you had to strip down to your balls and shit. But hey, they told old girl she had to take in in the jail. They told old girl that she had to get butt Nick had to show all that little sassiness right there, man. I'm just saying. But uh, but we don't know if. If that's what happened, this is what she's claiming in the video. So, this young man over here be getting his ass beat by the law enforcement, though. Like, <laughs> maybe he didn't get naked. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> or, or maybe he did get naked. Like what it's I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Sterling. So Sterling says Robert. That's his name, of course. If I had mentioned it, is uh is Robert. Robert has no legal avenue to appeal or to show evidence to the court that he does not owe the money. He was never even told of a court date and was unable to defend himself. U.S. diplomats, where you at? Y'all must yes. work with the UAE authorities to resolve this miscarriage of justice. Where, where, where y'all at, bro? Joe? Man. Joe? U.S.? Diplomats? Where y'all at? I, I, I see grandma got, the, got, got, in, got in front of it. Where, where y'all at, bro? Dobbs has Man. been in contact with Senator Tammy... Baldwin, does that ring a bell? Tammy Baldwin. Tammy Baldwin. Does that ring a bell in Wisconsin? Nah, I was thinking of some uh, some guy named Johnson up there. I think mean, like uh, Paul okay. Johnson or something like that. Well, nah, this is uh, Tammy Baldwin. He says uh, Dobbs has been in contact with her, uh, requesting assistance from the U.S. State Department. Baldwin's office declined to comment on record for this story. What? What? Decline to comment. Why? Okay, <sighs> man. Shut my mouth. <laughs> oh, so man. we had we we had grandma and and a couple of other politicians that came out on Sassy's behalf. Here's a whole army veteran, and nobody don't want to talk about his situation. Hey. This young lady's situation, just just by saying she was holl or she was screaming, got national, international, international, yeah, international publicity about what went on over there with her in Dubai, all the way into China. I got the article. It's a China article. Got her, you know, got her picture on there and everything. But here's a young man, an army veteran that I keep stressing.
been detained over there for five years. Over a miss, I, I will probably say misunderstanding because he did not get a chance to defend himself in court. Wow. And, 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 no, and the senators don't even the, want to comment on it? And the senator don't even want to comment on it, man. That's... I'd say the chance of departure is 80%. 75 80. If diplomatic efforts are not made, the veteran will most likely die in the Dubai streets. Mm -hmm. Dang. Dang. That is rough right there. Man, that, that, that is. A spokesperson from the U.S. Embassy. Remember you mentioned that? Let's talk about the U.S. Yeah. Embassy. Because flashback to Sassy's video, she mentioned that she went to the U.S. Embassy. And come to find out, the U.S. Embassy ain't worth shit. Hey, Let's go. They didn't do a damn thing. They just gave us like, hey, call these people. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. You, you, you the U.S. Embassy. Ain't you supposed to be helping us out over here? Nah, bro. We ain't got nothing for you. A spokesman, again, from the U.S. Embassy in the UAE, say that they were limited in what they could say on the specific case. But note, listen now, listen now, but notes that the country's strict exit control, which are outlined in the State Department website, and it states, travelers both departing the UAE and transitioning will be barred from exiting the UAE if there are any criminal or civil cases against them, which begs the question that if it was a, it was a civil case against Sassy and she was still given the option to either stay and be in prison or just be banned from the country why is that option is not presented to robert in that case uh, exactly. i'm quite sure he would uh, uh gladly yeah. accept the option to be banned from the country exactly all right travelers uh -huh. have, travelers have been arrested at the airport and have their passport seized due to outstanding financial cases, unsettling legal disputes, and and late credit card payments. Did you just say late credit card payments? It says late. Credit card <laughs> payments, bruh. <laughs> so you mean to tell me if I get a if I get a credit card in Dubai and I'm late with that first payment, you mean to tell me I can't take my ass home? <laughs> uh, you, you, can, you can cut that shit off, bro. <laughs> I don't need your car. I don't no more. need your car no more. <laughs> no, oh, man. They say, they say late credit card payments, also including cases that was previously unknown to the traveler. So that means that they can just put any they can put thing any, on you. Yeah. Yeah, bro. And you ain't got to know nothing about it. Yeah. And then they say, gotcha. Get, <laughs> Get him. <laughs> Get him. We got him, y'all. We got another one. We got uh, him. Hey, uh, another you one. know, lockout man? Yeah, you know, he getting ready to leave. He is? Yeah, we don't want him to leave. We like him over here. Hey, tell lockout man he got a case. Hey, lockout man. He was like, yeah. You can't go nowhere, bro. We man you can't go nowhere. You got a case. I what? One time I ain't got no case. <laughs> I, 
got a I got a question. Like, I mean, he's been trying to get his way out of Dubai for the longest. Is there a way that you can be smuggled out of there? I guess. Yeah, I, you know, I was wondering that, man. You know, cause uh, they 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 smuggle in and out of the United States, man. So is there a way? Cause I mean, five years, and you would think once he's out of Dubai, no matter what country he go into, I mean, now he's a U.S. citizen. He may not have a passport, but he may have a, uh, you know, he may have a better chance of getting back to the U.S. from any other country other than Dubai. That's Man, man, and, and Dubai ain't even a country. Dubai is actually a city, right? In the United United, uh, United em- Emirates. Emirates, Arab Emirates, or whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah, Arab Emirates. Yeah, UAB, uh, whatever UAE. UAE. So that means that that airport, that airport must be like super, super duper locked down. I, I think their airport airport security is like. It's like hell of a lot better than the TSA over here. To finish off this story and give you guys a moral, he's able, his wife is able to come over there. I don't think she's up under any band or or any travel band or anything like that. But he fears for his wife. Uh, last time they was together, they was followed. But uh, But before all of this happened, he in 2018 he sent his family back home to the states and he decided for whatever god forsaken reason to stay behind well he didn't foresee all of this i'm i'm assuming uh, so when he was uh, when he, yeah when he sent his kid his family home he he must have thought like hey the pandemic getting ready to start. Let me go in here and see you home. I'll stay over here, you know, tidy up a little bit and I'll see y'all later. And then boom, he didn't get paid. His work visa wasn't returned to him. And, and, and the rabbit hole just got deeper from there. So the moral of the story. Excuse me, where's everybody going? To Gobbler's Knob. It's Groundhog Day. It's still just once a year, isn't it? Don't take your ass over to Dubai. <laughs> that, that, that's, all wow. I can, that's all I can say. That, that's, that's all I can say. I mean, as I, I'm, I'm telling you, bruh, the more, the, the, the more I learn about this motherfucking city, bro, is the more that I don't even want to man. go over there. Oh God, Lee, man! I learned that's crazy. I, I learned so much from the sassy situation about Dubai. It is crazy. I never heard. I I, I heard of Dubai. I seen it on TV, social media, I ain't know nothing videos. About it, man. You know, I seen the last the last movie with the with the Fast and Furious where they went through the well, yeah, when they went, when through, they went through, the through the buildings tower. and all like that in Dubai and yada yada yada. But I I, I did not know nothing about no porta potty action, no no extortion. And and now this this school is holding this dude hostage. I mean, I, I mean, why even go over there now that you guys finding out a lot of a lot of these issues that's going on with Dubai, man? Like, you know, renting a car and all like that. Hell, even Sassy said, "Hey, don't don't rent a car over there. Just go in and ride the bus." Maybe you should have took your own advice. But anyway. <laughs> Okay, good point. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so but yeah, don't I, don't go to Dubai. Don't don't go to Dubai. Let's just this let's just cross Dubai off of our must travel bucket list. I'm just saying. Yeah, so I got a just a a question now. So do you think that this is just aimed towards uh, U.S. citizens just traveling over there, or is this aimed towards any foreign traveler any foreign travelers because there was a uh there was a british um uh, it was british students that rented a car and uh they was extorted out of 
10 or 20K, you know, because of a quote unquote minor fender bender. But they wouldn't release, you know, they 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 wouldn't release their passport or whatever the case until they paid that. Uh, the family of the of the young men came together. They paid it. First plane out of the buy, they was on it. <laughs> Big cheese got it locked. Boy. Want you to love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G? Yeah.